praise the Lord. We thank the Lord who has been our Ebenezer. Ebenezer is uh, the stone of help. And this Ebenezer, we say, we have said it is the Lord Jesus Christ. This far, the Lord has brought us. This far, the Lord has helped us. I believe you have a testimony of how far the Lord has taken you, has brought you, has helped you. And yesterday we said that you share a testimony with somebody of the things that God has done because he is faithful. You, have, you can remember the things that he has done and therefore there is power in the testimony that you give about the Lord. I hope that as we continue to learn about Lord being our Ebenezer, or that far the Lord having helped us, we are being blessed and we are being encouraged to build our faith so that we can trust in him. And we shall end this year very strong because of the presence of the Lord. Now, victory and God's blessing and God's help is not only for the past or the present. Yes, we can testify of the things that the Lord has done so far. We can look back and remember, call to remembrance, the victories that the Lord has given us. But we should also have hope for tomorrow. And therefore, Ebenezer also helps us to remember that if God did this for us today, even tomorrow we have hope. And therefore, our topic today is hope for the future. In the, in the book of 1 Samuel, the prophet Samuel takes stones and erects the, uh, such monuments in several places. The Ebenezer he raises is a symbol, a reminder of God's help in their struggle with the Philistines. It's at the spot where God helped them to remind the people of the gracious acts of the Lord, of God's choice in them as a people, and to celebrate that God continues to be their God. Therefore, whenever they went and saw that monument, they will remember. Yesterday we gave the, 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 the example of this cross. So this cross does not just mean whatever Jesus did. It also gives us hope for tomorrow that because he died on the cross, he paid for our sins, he rose from the dead. Now we are able to know that we are going to uh, resurrect. We have the hope for tomorrow. And this reminds us that even as the Israelites camped there and saw the greatness of the Lord, I just want to read verse 13 of uh, 1 Samuel chapter 7. So the Philistines were subdued and they did not come anymore into the territory of Israel. And the heart of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel. So the Philistines never came close. The enemies never came close. And what does this mean? That this stone reminded them of the hope that they have in Christ. Robert Robinson, in his hymn, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, declares in, in verse 3, Here I raise my Ebenezer, hitherto by thy help, I come. He recognizes that it is by God's grace, by God's divine action, that he has been rescued from the life of slavery, of sin, to know God personally and to have a relationship with him. How do we find this hope? How do we make the choice of God's hope when it is offered? Robinson had the choice to either respond to the prompting of the Holy Spirit or continue on his own ways. He made the right choice. A choice that we would like to request every one of us to make, 
to return back to God. Remember, Israelites had known God as their God, but Samuel had to tell them, let us go back to the Lord. Let us become people who pray, who have a relationship, a fellowship with God, people who value our relationship with God because our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He does not change. Therefore, we need to raise our Ebenezer in our lives. It may not be uh, anything physical, but in our hearts, let us set apart Christ as Lord and let us uh, fix our eyes on him because he is the He's the, he's the author and the finisher of our faith. In your mind, look at the future. It may be the things of this world. We know they are temporal. But let us be able to focus on what our life will be. And even in this life, it doesn't mean that the Lord does not bless us. He'll bless us. In this life, he'll fight the battles for us. But there is a bigger reward in heaven. And as we look at that, we remember what um, the Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11, talks about. It talks about faith being a substance of what is hoped for, evidence of things not seen. When you go to verse 13 of Hebrews chapter 11, the Bible says that those people who are called the soldiers of faith died before they received what they had been promised and greeted it from afar and acknowledged themselves to be strangers and aliens on earth. They had been thinking not of the land where they had come. They were not thinking of this world, but they had a life that they looked, they, they, they desired a better homeland. Because if they thought of the land they came from, they would have gone back. But God blessed them because they had faith. And that is why we need to put our hope in Jesus this, the rock, the person who sacrifices, Jesus who sacrificed himself for us so that we may have eternal life. Today I request you to spend some time praying and thanking God for the past and future victories. Don't focus on what may not work. Focus on the greatness of the Lord. Focus, look, go back to the stone. Go back to the cross. At the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light and every burden was rolled away. It is there by faith that we stand. It is there by faith that we place our hope. Today is a day I want you to think about what God has done for you. Just take time to pray and to thank him. Never give up because Christ paid it all. We have a future and a hope in him. And always this week, I'm reminding you of Psalm 124. It says, if the Lord, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us alive. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The streams would have gone over our souls. Then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of, a, of the fallers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. May God help us to focus on him and to fix our eyes on him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. 
Amen. Remember what the Lord has done for you and give thanks. Blessed day.